Well, after several attempts, I was finally able to film my eastern hognose snake eating. So, as you may or may not know, hognose snakes are specialized toad eaters in the wild. Western hognoses, which have more of an upturned snout, will often eat rodents in captivity, but eastern hognoses are strict toad eaters, so being able to get one to eat a mouse that is unscented was quite a feat for me. Of course, mine has to flare up or hood up to look intimidating to the camera first, but when he's through with that, he will start eating. Now, I got him back when I was working at PetSmart. I had a 10-year-old kid call me because he was frustrated that he couldn't get his snake to eat. And after several minutes of troubleshooting over the phone, I discovered that the snake he was trying to feed was wild-caught. And not only was it wild-caught, but it was an eastern hognose snake. So, of course, it didn't want to eat the rodent he was trying to feed it because those love eating just toads. So I traded him a king snake that I had, and being a king snake, it was a wonderful eater. And I wasn't planning on keeping it anyway, so I traded him for the eastern hognose, which his younger sister named Sparkles, by the way, so that's why his name is still Sparkles. And over the span of about three years, I finally was able to get him to eat rodents. I had to start by feeding him small toadlets first, and then I would, like a conveyor belt, slide in a pinky as he was eating the toad. Then I switched to toad-scented rodents, and finally, now he's eating unscented altogether. The snake couldn't be released, unfortunately, because while all of this was happening, it was in the middle of the winter. I do apologize, the rest of the footage was too blurry to use, and I tried feeding him again, but he ate it tail first, and a little bit of blood came out of the mouse's nose, so to avoid YouTube from age-restricting this video, I'm not going to use that footage either. Instead, I'm going to end with me attempting to feed him a mouse, and how he usually reacts to it. As you can see, he's pretty sassy most of the time, but I love him. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.